andato una vera prova di uomo Uh, level up some of the weapons that uh, I uh, couldn't finish off yesterday um, that I didn't end up having the materials for. So we're going to start off with Hermes boots. Um, there are three types of Hermes boots. Critical, Evade, and um, what's the other one? Uh, vital. The Vital one's trash. No one really gets Vital anything. Um, the, only thing that, the only thing that's Vital that's somewhat viable is a Vital Platinum Armor. And that's only for like if you're gonna run Drain Force, to be honest, or if you're running something like Whisper Tank. Anyways, um, I have four pairs of Hermes sandals, which comes out to about twenty thousand PVP points, and I have yet to roll a Evasion version. Um, I think some people say that there you get a uh, in the future you'll get a patch where you get to pick which version you want to craft. Um, I think that might be right now, but that's only for like plus fives because when there are 63 recipes You can inherit any of the attributes that you want But for plus zero, I don't think you get to pick. I hope that changes in the future uh, But unfortunately, this is another month for grinding to get another uh, To get another shot at these evade Hermes sandals Not to mention I need something like two or three so all oh, that sucks Anyways, um, Hermes sandals. Oh my gosh, that's a ton of that's a ton of adamantite. Um, what I'm gonna do here is I'm probably just gonna straight up max it. Uh, I think that's how I'll do it. Because the way Hermes sandals work, it's UR, and UR has some of the best like growth stats. So I might not even have to be, I might not even have to go hard on this. It should just kind of max on its own, and probably before level fifty. Considering how crappy the stats are. Uh, agility is the main stat that I'm after here. Obviously, if there was a if this was the evade version, there's a ton of evade. I think it's like 20 evade. If you get like a plus five version, you can get like 30 evade. Um So unfortunately the crit version only gives about the crit version only gives nine crit. Really, uh, to compete with the evade version, giving I think 15 evade. You can have like 20 crit and it'll still be like, it'll still be fair. It's not as though like, um... It's not as though uh, Hermes Sandals is uh, insanely god here or anything. So, because there's no way to, there's no uh, gems for agility, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna max out all the other stats, and then I'm gonna give it to him. Because you're generally supposed to get at least one stat per level. So this should be... there you go. And the HP is maxing very slowly. Let me see if I can max it at 20 here. Because UR, UR items do cost a ton. What will happen in the later versions is um, if it comes to it, I might have to like uh, dismantle this and get all my stuff back except all these uh, orbs I also don't get seals back which is kind of sucky but this is sure to this is pretty much sure to max uh, probably just go another level or two I don't think I really need to give defense. Okay. Four levels should max it. Uh, Cause there's only four stats left, so it's one per stat. I think we should be okay. Go. Okay, there we go, perfect stats. Eh, it's perfect, but it's a perfect piece of garbage. That's basically what this is. Uh, I got a barrier version of a platinum armor. I think that's probably like the worst version because I actually wanted um, I wanted a uh, shield. But anyways, um, here's baleful gaunt baleful gauntlet. Uh, I don't have a good strat to maxing baleful gauntlet either because there is no. Oh wow, it's still also 2,000 something. Ugh. 
I don't have a good strat of maxing this out either because there is no dexterity seals. So what I'm gonna do here is we're gonna go for the HP and accuracy. And then hopefully the rest will max itself out. And accuracy, that's pretty good. And we're gonna go accuracy, we're gonna go just straight HP and accuracy here. By the way, there's a reason I'm going for the accuracy version, just because accuracy is so important in actual PvP. Because everybody is running evade, especially with, um, what's her face? We're getting, uh, uh, my god, Nivlu. Everyone's running, um, everyone's running a ton of evade with Nivlu, because Nivlu, uh, Gunner team is a thing. So, need to be aware of that. Not bad. Uh, I like how the dexterity is maxing on its own. I am trying to save some adamantite ore, so if possible. I would hope to max out the rest without issue. Okay, so this should uh, this should max shortly. So there is what one plus seven eight levels left. So. This should max at 45. Oh, I'm saving like 600. There we go, max out. Uh, this is pretty good. Uh, 20 dexterity, 20 accuracy is a ton of hit. And this can technically stack with... um. This can technically stack with uh, Wolf Helm if you want to. Then I think you. Then I don't think any of your stuff will miss. But that would mean you have to have a TMR weapon, so that that kind of gimps you. Uh, so yesterday I made the Killer Bow Assault. This time we're gonna make the Killer Bow uh, Accuracy uh, Crit version. The Assault version has two less. Uh, has three less accuracy and I think like 17. I think the assault only had like nine crit. I decided to go one assault, one crit. Um, probably probably would be good to get two assault. I think two assault is probably okay as well, but I'm gonna run a crit version just in case. Uh, Oh, we don't need that. Uh, go down to like 15, 16. Uh, let's do this. Okay, that's a good spread of stats. Unfortunately, it spreads so awkwardly, I don't know where to go with it. If we attack crypt. There's too much magic on this bow, that's the issue. Okay, accuracy is maxed, crit is maxed. So I need attack, HP, and evade. Uh, I think it should max around level 40. I think that's pretty much maxed. Uh, we need two more levels, right? 39 is where it's gonna max. Okay, max quick ball. Uh, apparently, the quick version is a lot easier to max first than the uh, than the assault version. The assault version, I had a hell of a time. Uh, also, I think I wanted 39. Uh, great, that was a waste. Uh, small waste, no big deal. Um, and there was a smart cult that I wanted to reforge. Uh, I have a perfect shield one. 
I have two perfect shield ones. Uh, I have two perfect shield ones. I'm trying to get a perfect. Uh, trying to get the perfect barrier one, but I can't really get there. It's uh, kind of annoying. So this is a reforge. By the way, those shitty stats you saw a moment ago, that was with, um, this is maxable, okay. That was with a lot of, uh, that was with seals and the, um, and the bonus. That was with seals and, uh, and the weapon pass. So apparently spirit is a serious bitch to max. Uh, anyways, bring this up to 50. I have a ton of crit seals, and crit seals are kind of... I wouldn't really say useless, but they're pretty useless. Then again, so is Spirit. Um, I almost never have to use either of these. So, I'm okay reforging these to this. And then after this, I'm gonna go over some of the uh, some of my Esper builds as well, because I don't think anyone ever runs Esper builds. Uh, smart bolt, smart bolt. Already reforged it, so it should be. Uh, I really shouldn't go that hard on this, but I don't know when smart bolt is coming back for me to go plus five, so I'm just gonna. Run it here. This extra one is really annoying. Uh, defense is actually a pretty good one as well. Let's see what we get. Uh, well, I guess that is an option if we straight up max out health and then we go for the other guys. Maybe I just want max defense. The thing with this build, um, there's a thing with, uh, I need to explain. There is a growth chart on World Division Calc that even talks about how these things grow. Um, HP, attack, and magic are the ones that grow the best. They have around a 15% chance to proc a, to proc a, uh, bonus growth and bonus growth could be something close to like depending on what type it is if it's assault you can get something like six attack points but in the spirit sense if i proc the, if i proc spirit i don't know if i'll actually get 12 spirit but anyways um nothing's procking defense or if it or uh, evade so basically i'm allocating five levels to that so technically i got 45 levels to max out hp and spirit Taking a ton of spirit uh, seals. Hey, it's procking spirit, but it's not procking spirit well. Uh, so, in that sense, I got a spirit up, but I didn't get a spirit increase. Or I procked the spirit point, but I didn't get a bonus for it. Again, I procked the spirit, but I didn't get a bonus for it. So I guess what I'll do is I'll try to max out HP first. And then we'll go for Spirit and Armor. Spirit and Armor might just take care of itself here. Okay, so here's the awkward part. Um, I might hammer out the HP and then let the Spirit and Armor build itself. I need a couple of procs of the spirit in order to uh, actually make use of it, in order to actually cap it. So there's three levels, and I only got five level. I only got three levels worth of stats, so one for HP and two for spirit. So here I just gotta max out the rest. Go in spirit. 
I don't really need to throw in defense because of a proc's defense, it will cap out the defense. Uh, I think Spirit has a proc rate of something like 15%, which is really shitty. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, basically, this whole Reforge thing and all those seals, all it did was increase my defense by 1 and it increased my Spirit by 2. But at least it's in a max out of all range right now. Uh, I have a ton of spirit armor, so I have a ton of spirit hammer, so that's probably doable. Uh, let's max it here. Plus two spirit, plus two smart coat is not that great. But then again, it's just another six. It's another six magic attack resist, and magic attack resist is the worst of all the resistances. I'll be honest, because uh, there's a whole ton of spells that buff magic resist. So you don't need to be walking around with 100% magic resist. You only need to walk around with like 60. 